All right, guys, the watch list for Monday. I hope everybody has had a great three-day holiday weekend here. Um, and this is what I'm looking at uh, for Monday. XON just goes back on watch, okay? It's, uh, it's another red day. I'm watching this for a potential bounce after the gap up. You've got four red days now. Uh, definitely some nice support back here around 40. Um, and so I want to watch this. If it gets down near 40 especially, but it doesn't have to. It might just give a nice bounce play setup. TXMD. Um, I also want to watch this one. It had a gap up, sold off on Friday. I'm sorry, Thursday. The market was closed on Friday, but ended up coming pretty much. It retraced a lot of that sell-off after the gap. So because of this tail here and the recent volume, this one might be worth looking at for a potential long. Again, all of my trades are based on the daily charts, and then on the entries are based on intraday because I do I do not hold overnight. So um, I just try to find charts setting up that might give me a nice trade the next day all right i'll be back in cash by the close um g-e-n-e -E, a very nice kind of day and a half uh pop here and now a couple couple days lower um time to start watching that one for a bounce coming back near the 20 day and i think that one could be a good candidate r-a-d-a also you notice i try to focus on stocks that have had recent uh, excuse me recent big moves uh, which r-a-d-a -A did back here pulled back almost Touched the high again from the from the day and a half move, and now it's back down to the eight day. Um, you know, you could argue this in a range now from about here to about here, and we're nearing the bottom of that range. So I want to start watching RADA for a bounce. CLDN um, was on bounce play watch on Thursday, and 15 minutes in, looked like this. This is an opening five minute candle, a little selling, and then right back up. So I called this just long over the 15 minute high. 1723 and it you know rallied and then just went sideways the rest of the day and actually closed kind of strong <sighs> sorry just spared you guys a sneeze by hitting the uh, microphone button there all right um cldn so i want to watch that one just for a continuation here it is on like 15 minute candles uh, it seems to have maybe found some support so that's actually on long watch um, for a continuation of the bounce that it put in um, on Thursday. This was, I mean, about two weeks ago, this was up over 28. So Thursday's bounce just took us um, not even to 18. So there certainly could be another day left in that bounce. SanDisk, a uh, very nice pop on Wednesday, and then a quiet inside day on Thursday. Um, I want to watch this for a potential long on Monday. SSNDK, SOL. Um, you know, pretty clean looking chart here, up over a dollar sixty-five. This might, you know, kind of break out. It's been in a long consolidation. Um, a nice pop back here, nice pop here on volume again, nice pop here on volume again, and then back again. So one of these days might just get through one sixty-five and give a nice long trade. Oops, let me try that again. RKUS, um, you know, four days, five days in a row, four days in a row now, um, kind of sideways, consolidating under thirteen. Uh, sold off from the 13 area back here. Now it's putting kind of a big cup and handle um, over 13 with some volume or through 13 with some volume. This one might give a nice pop. That's RKUS. WBAI. Um, nice volume. 4 million shares on Thursday. And I like this over Thursday's high. So 12.55. And then you have another catalyst just to the left of that. Um, 12.87. Something like that. Um, so if you get through 12.55, you might overtake 12.87. It might really get going. All right, this seem, seems to excuse me. Whoops, seems to have found some support here, um, and I do like the volume that it put in on Thursday. Uh, Lumber liquidators got to have it on watch. Um, had a nice morning gap play in that one on uh, on Thursday. Um, made my daily goal in like literally in the opening. I don't know two or three minutes. Let's go to two minute candles here. Um, I took this, you know, it sold off at the open. It was my number one stock to watch to for a potential squeeze. Um, and then when it started to come back up, I said I liked it over 34.4. I think I said 34.41 with a stop at 33.99. I didn't expect this, but this is what happened, and this is how I play morning gaps. It hit 34. I actually got filled at 34.39. And as it ripped up to, through 35, I'm clicking the sell button in parts, okay? I actually didn't sell any over 35. I was... As it was coming up, I'm just sell, sell, sell. And then on the last little bit when it came back down, I was back out. I kind of expected this thing to not look back and squeeze, but it came back, so I was back out. Only made a dime on my last fourth of a position, um, but on the other three quarters did really well. And it was it was fun because 
I was doing it literally um, within like one minute. Um, so you know that's 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 what you look for on morning gap plays. Instant payout. Um, again, I'm just clicking the sell button, uh, and I, I always tell myself I'm going to keep some in case this goes up two or three dollars. But I'm going to protect my entry, and that's exactly what I did. So it was like enter, sell, sell. I had, actually had two sells up around 34 over 3480, I think. So sold some quickly, sold two two lots over 3480, and then the last lot for a dime gain. So anyway, that was a nice way to start the day. Having said all that, that wasn't the point of pointing out LL. Um, other than, uh, you know, it's got really big volume lately. And if this gets any upside momentum, it could really squeeze. So I want to keep that one on watch. And then finally, CMCM. Um, now this thing, I've watched this over the months. And it is a nasty, whippy trader. I didn't even notice this move on... Uh, on Thursday but you know that's a good volume pop for this stock and it closed all the way at the highs of the day um, it's got a ton of shorts and I'm gonna try to I should look this up before I made the video try to look this up real quick I thought I remembered seeing that this has a ton of shorts in it it looks like 12 million shares in the float and 66 percent short according to finviz.com so this one has a potential um, to squeeze. So yeah, I missed a really nice move um, on Thursday. I you don't see anything that would have really got me in because you know I didn't even notice it. So it wasn't really lighting up the relative volume scanners. But um, you know this could be a great opportunity for a second day play uh, with that you know with that low float and um, and high short position. So keep this one on watch. That's CM CM. Um, again, guys, we'll, we'll find some gappers in the morning in the chat room as well, and I'll focus on those for the first few minutes, and then we'll also keep our eyes very closely on this list I just gave you. Gave you. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and we'll see everybody on Monday.